Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Abhishek and in this one we are talking about Windows and Win2K which is a dev setup for Windows systems that I created, personally use and maintain upon my GitHub. Um, and Win2K will basically combine a bunch of tools and frameworks and give you a nice command line based dev environment. Um, and it will be a native dev environment, not using WSL. You can very easily integrate in Vim 2K, the NeoVim uh, distro I use and maintain, and then it will also add things from uh, Posh 2K, uh, the prompt that this uh, particular uh, dev environment will be using. So this nice prompt will also be a part of it. We'll add tiling support with Komorebi and shout out to Komorebi's author. He had asked me some time back to record this video and I'm glad that I'm finally doing so. Um, so yeah, uh, these are a couple of features. There's lots more, but yeah, this is enough for us to get started. Uh, and these are some of the things we'll need. Most of it will be doing during the setup so nothing to worry about and the first thing that we'll need is to install scoop scoop will be our package manager and this also winget uh, and i think choco out there uh, but yeah i prefer scoop for most of the package management needs on windows so yeah uh, switch to your terminal run the first command which is to allow remote script execution uh, and this is only needed for the first time and then you can copy this one and install scoop so this may take a little bit of time based on your system and network speeds all right looks like we are done with installing scoop and if you want to confirm that you can simply go to your terminal and just run scoop it should print out this help information and if you face uh, issues with accessing this url from within parcel what you can do is you can just go to this url directly and uh, save the contents as a ps1 file and then simply execute it so now we'll start with package installations uh, initial ones so git would be the primary one but in order to install git we'll need 7-zip because the git archive comes as a 7z file and then we'll also install aria 2 which can help us speed up some downloads later on in this setup so yeah let's just copy this command and just run it all right looks like git has been installed as well now what we need to do is we need to clone the repository so we'll just copy this and paste it over here and this will also clone the sub modules which includes dots2k and post2k and i'm gonna do one more thing just for convenience is create a projects directory and move win2k into projects now all you need to do is run the setup this step i generally prefer to run in a admin prompt so as you can see i've also highlighted here let's quickly look at the setup ps1 file um, i'll quickly walk you through as you can see first of all it will add a dev tools bucket which has a lot of binaries and packages that we'll need and then it will simply install a group of packages it will run scoop update and then we'll, it will install a couple of power cell modules so terminal icons z ps read line fcf and then uh, there are all of the same links so yeah let's run the setup uh, let me open up a admin window so you hit win plus x and then select terminal admin so let's cd into our directory so projects win to k now we do setup and hit enter so now it will go through the commands one by one and simply execute them 
and when it's all done we should have win 2k pretty much ready to go all right looks like the setup is complete and i recommend doing a restart or doing a sign out and sign in after your setup completes so that your terminal and power cell can get a chance to uh, restart as well and load the new configs and yeah after that you should see when you open up your terminal you should see a prompt like this so next steps for us would be to go to the usage section and configure kit and next in line is our nvim 2k our new vim configs so let's get started with that i'll clone this into the project directory as well so let's clone it and now we need to sim link it for which we'll need a admin terminal so let's open that up i'm gonna switch to projects and then i'll be running this so yeah we have our nvim sim link now what we need to do is open up neovim once so let me do simply uh, y is a alias to nvim that i use but you can also do nvim and as you can see it should trigger lazy and all of the installations should start this will take a couple of seconds as well all right looks like we are done with neovim as well and lazy has installed all of our plugins for us you may have to restart neovim once uh, to make sure that everything is properly installed so next on our setup is power toys power toys is a group of utilities created by microsoft and some of them are quite useful uh, i personally like to use it to remap some of my keys and then they have a power toys run launcher so let's enable the keyboard remaps quickly so what you do is come to the keyboard manager app you open up remap a key you hit select so i like to remap my caps lock to uh, escape and this is super helpful with neovim and a lot of my tools i almost never use caps lock and another thing that i like to do is uh, remap windows plus q to send alt f4 and yeah what this lets me do is close windows with win plus q and then you have the launcher so go to power toys and then here you should have something called power toys run here it is and yeah you can see it's enabled but i don't like the default key binding i prefer windows plus space so yeah that's windows plus space yeah all right so that's it for power toys and it has a ton of other tools you can definitely try those out and play around with them next on our setup we have tiling with komu ruby there's not really much setup that you need to do it's pre-configured uh, within powershell configs and these are the two commands that will let you control tiling so all you need to do is simply open up a terminal and type out start tiling to enable tiling and now you have tiling window management you can navigate with alt ejkl and there's a bunch of other configs and key bindings listed in the whkd config within win2k so yeah uh, you can integrate this to your setup however you want looks like that's all that we had for the setup let me do a quick demo on the terminal now you have aliases so you can do dot dot to move up similar to what we have in zsh uh, if you want to see the power cell configs you can just run pwshrc it's the alias that i've added and it should open profile.ps1 and this is how you can configure aliases i've added this helper function called bass alias so what it will simply do is it will take in two arguments the first would be the alias the second would be the actual command that you want to run 
to trigger PowerShell MCF, what you do is, let's say, I want to open some specific file. I do VI, hit Control F, and it gives me the list. So I can do fuzzy searching from here and open up the file that I want. You also have lazy git, so gg for lazy git. You can see you can quickly walk through my git changes. And from this point, you can very easily install whatever you want and customize it according to your needs. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.